so as, as Joan said, this is, it's conducted like a class, and I, so it's not too boring. Uh, it's highlights of a class, let's say. And what I want to show you, uh, the progression of a logical class, of the exercises, where, where the exercises lead the dancers, why it's so difficult, why the concentration level is so difficult. Okay, so it'll be like this morning, but briefer. Okay, so we all know the first exercise. Okay, we start, we in, in dance, we, know we have basically five positions. First position is this, second position is this, third we do not use. <laughs> okay, we have two fourths. That would be fourth opposite fifth and fourth opposite first, which we hardly use either. So it's fourth and then that's the fifth. Uh, we on the floor, we do exercises like this. We do exercises parallel, turned in, and slightly turned out. Okay, because, so that we have the rotation from the hips, from the abdominal control. Uh, ballet is, as we know, it's, it's turned out, but it's not only turning your feet out. It's, it's rotating the whole body from your chest, your head, your arms, your pelvis, everything. The reason, not only because aesthetically it looks beautiful, there are just things you cannot do if you're not turned out, okay? It's another, let's say it's practically another muscle system than an athlete. An athlete would be running and jumping mainly with glutes and thighs and things. We don't. We use all the internal muscles of our, our groin, our abdominal pubic area. It has to be very strong. Uh, backs of the legs and the feet incredibly strong. The feet, especially for the ladies, they have to support, I don't know, I, I know in kilos, 60 kilos or something on point. And if they're on one point, the whole weight is on five toes. So they have to have incredibly strong feet. And they, when they're rehearsing in a ballet company, they're on point 10 hours a day. Um, so they have to be very, very strong. And of course, there are injuries, which is normal. So what I try to do with them, I try to teach them. I give them their own personal survival kit. Okay? Teaching them where the parts of the body, why you put this on this and how this works, how you turn out, how you work the arm, the thigh, the foot, and everything. So if they're in their own ballet school, something goes wrong, they can go back to their, their kit and look at what they're not doing, okay? Plus, it's very anatomical what we're doing and they should not get injured because everything is balanced. Then I don't have them overturning their feet out. If they haven't, not, we don't all have the same possibilities physically. If you don't have so much turnout, we don't force the turnout. We have what's called a rotation. The muscles are turning, but we're not forcing the knees so we'll have knee problems afterwards. Uh, we start in first position usually at the bar. Sometimes class starts like this or facing the bar. For the purpose of the kids, as they're still thinking about their feet, their legs and their pelvis, we haven't done much arm work because it's too difficult for them. Their, their brain can't get around their arms and their heads at the same time. We've had, we have added them on occasions, okay? So we start in first and we have two counts to rotate. We do our short foot, we send our heels to the end of the toes rotate the back of the legs for one and remember two three four two two three four one two three four we change the legs to in and in rotate two three four short foot two three four fond open at the back and two in okay we do the whole thing on qua we rise then we do it to the left if there's music okay first arches up <coughs> Wipe, that's all. Two, three, four. Two, four, two, four. We finish to the floor, ten toes on the floor. And
tends to the floor. Watch it. Close one and stay and run.